So continuing on with the theme of big boxes, <laughs> this is an order I had placed through Ami Ami. Uh, so it is one scale figure and it's one that I had received beginning of October. So for whatever reason, I just never opened it. Uh, and I figured now would be the best time for my birthday. Why not? <laughs> Finally. And uh, so this one was quite expensive. It's quite heavy too, so shipping was not the greatest. Uh, but I know that this figure is worth it uh, based on the prototype photos, uh, videos that people had done when they started to receive this, and just pictures overall. So I'm pretty excited to finally get this out. So let's get to opening it. a box count because fully opening this thing was a workout with how this figure was packaged it was literally a box within a box within another box but here's the ami ami card for september when this was officially released and i had to cut this from the bottom too because i couldn't manage to lift it out uh, but opening box number two to reveal fancy box number three that has some padding all around and then me trying my hardest to lift it out. <laughs> but the box has a nice texture to it with a laser cut pattern on the side, a bit like the Jade screen, uh, some hinges, and the Phoenix logo on this side. Here's the Geo symbol as the enclosure. And this opens up to the final box, uh, but I don't know if the hinge box is one way to display this figure by putting it inside. Uh, but we're finally to the figure herself. And it's the Genshin Impact Ningguang Gold Leaf and Pearly Jade version 1-7 scale, sculpted by Apex. She's got a few blister packages, this being one of them. And at the bottom is the base, a nice neutral square. I believe these are Ginkgo Biloba leaves, at least they look like them. And holes on where to insert accessory pieces. Here's one lantern, and the cool thing is that it has the capability to light up. I don't have the right battery for this yet, but I'll eventually place one in. Here's the other tall table to add to the scene. An incense pot. And then Ningguang's smoking pipe that has a fingertip attached to it. And now Ningguang herself. I gotta remove all the protective plastic. I remember watching Ken Ken's video on his unboxing of her and how he had left a foam uh, throughout the video and didn't realize it until someone in his comments pointed it out. I believe it was this piece that he forgot. <laughs> so assembly time. Instructions look pretty easy to figure out. Uh, the markers on the base also make it obvious where you insert things. Uh, but we'll start with the base, the screen, the incense pot, lantern, tall table. Uh, the smoke was a little tricky because the pin was tough to insert and goes in a specific hole. Then you simply set Ningguang right in the middle of everything. Her thumb has a plastic ring that you remove as well and then place her thumb with uh, the one that has the pipe attached to it. And then the other accessories like this scroll, which is actually the means to activate the lantern and why it goes in the back. Set down this other scroll, and then the pot that holds the four loose scrolls, and just put that back there. So here she is. I paid 29,800 yen for her with shipping being insane at 14,600 yen. All worth it, like I said. Uh, the sculpt is so good. The gold embellishments throughout really give her that luxury look. Uh, the full setup really gives you so much to look at from the screen to the lantern, the smoke, uh, and then her flowing hair that drapes so nicely everywhere along with her outfit. Uh, but besides the sculpt, the paint job on this is really beautiful. Uh, you get the gradient in her gloves, uh, all the gold details and accessories, which Genshin is no stranger to tons of details in their character designs. Uh, but her facial expression is so fitting for her character. Uh, some had an issue with how far apart her eyes are, but for me, I don't have a problem with it. 
Uh, I did place her in my detail thinking I would have space to put two Nendos, but guess that won't happen. <laughs> But as you all know, I'm a huge Genshin Impact fan and have been playing this game since right after launch. Uh, getting Ningguang scale was a no-brainer for me and definitely one of my top favorite scale figures from this year. But hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next one. Take care!